We have Draken playing as the Turks here, guys. And Turks are a great arena civilization, a classic arena civilization. They've been good for a very long time. However, Dark, he's gone for the Bengalis, but he had other options too. He had the Burgundians, he had the Bengalis, he also had the Teutons. And if you remember game number one, uh, he also had the Burmese. So, you know, shout out to the Burmese. They can be pretty decent on arena. Bengalis get plus two villagers when they arrive to the next age. Uh, so plus two villagers when they make it to the next age is very helpful. There's nothing you can really do to stop that if you're up against them on arena. They have monks that have extra armor, which could be helpful if light cav are out and about. But Turk get the light cav upgrade for free. It's pretty easy for them to mass them because they don't have to research that upgrade. And the Turks also have the Janissary. So if you want to see aggressive play from Draken, that could also be really tough for Dark to stop. But I'm just wondering what the builds will be here. So you, let's just back up a second. For the Turks, I think you've got one way of playing that is always pretty solid. And that's light cab opening into a boom for map control, get the relics, and then play towards him. And I feel like, like full heavy cab archer Hussar is good against virtually everything in the game. I haven't seen it against Ratha yet. And people are pointing out that maybe the Ratha could be pretty good here because the weakness of Ratha is against the lead skirm. And Turks don't actually get that. Actually, this might be the first time I've ever seen Turks versus Bengalis, now that I think about it. I've seen these civs on closed maps all the time. But I don't know if I've actually ever seen them against each other. I'm trying to think about it now. But yeah, so... So yeah, I, I talked through the Turk options. I could see Draken going for the light cap play. Uh, as he has a lot of confidence in his late game. And he knows this map very well. So I don't think that he's going to go all in or anything, because... Why would you as a player? Also, he this deer is just refusing to... Yeah, there you go. He's going to walk back to his original starting spot. <laughs> but he was refusing to get pushed in. What do the Bengalis do? So again, you get the Vil lead. You have a crazy boom. You have good monks. I could see arena players going for double monastery and having faith that the strong monks could hold against Lycav. I think that's super risky, though. I wonder if Bengalis could build up towards Light Cab as well, and then just boom. I don't know. There's always a question of what are you booming up towards. I'll tell you one thing about this. Imp timing is always crucial when playing as the Turks. If Draken has map control and he has a slightly faster imp, he will absolutely take advantage of that and do lots of damage. I think that's got to be a key for Dark, regardless of what happens in the mid game. You need to have some buildings here or some army in the middle so that insta bomber cannon push can't be accompanied by trebuchets in the front of your base. How's Bambi doing? Bambi's dead. But yeah, this still could be Fast Castle unique unit for Draken. Uh, not really sure based on the build thus far. We'll know based on how many villagers he adds. Everything looks fairly standard so far. Uh, do high-level players fast imp? Um, not so much these days. But fast imps do happen behind the, the unique unit pressure I talked about. It used to be more common, the Turk fast imp. And I actually think the Turk fast imp is one of my favorite strategies of all time. You don't have many examples of me casting it, but it's like super cool, man. I remember doing it on Arena when I was learning the game. Also, Dark didn't take a boar yet. What is happening, bro? What? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but is Dark, like, intentionally messing around here? Like, I don't... He didn't take a single boar. He's now using his scout to bring in the boars, which, to be fair, Vinchester did in the past. I remember yelling at Vinchester doing that because he would then lose his scout, but maybe he's going to heal it later or something. I'm so confused. If he loses the scout, I will scream though, so you need to brace yourself out there, guys. Losing your scout in arena is like one of the biggest mistakes. He farmed before he took his first boar. Still could have like a crazy fast imp time, but his whole build order will be affected by this. Because boar is faster than sheep. choosing not to go to the middle right now 
And yeah, for Draken, this is going to be unique unit play. Ooh, let's go, baby. Let's go. I'm really curious on what Dark's build order is going to look like here. It is still very possible that he could still achieve a good uptime. It's just very different order than what you normally see. Like, the Civ picks have been weird. Granted, the score's 1-1, one, one, right? So, and it could be 2-1 here. The build order here is awkward. His scout's on 5 HP. So he will have known that it would be 5 HP, because the boar should always get two hits. Okay, kill the boar. All right, he's fine. I don't think he's going to have the res in time. I think he's going to have to use the market or something. So it almost looks like a boom and monk build here for dark. And Draken's going for the crazy Janissary pressure. And the important thing with this, guys, is that now that Dark Scout is weak, he's never going to move out. Draken's going to get Light Cap for free as well. So even just this Scout is going to hold map control. And Draken can absolutely drop a castle forward. Like, watch. Draken's going to run back for a second. Because he's going to see his opponents in feudal. And he's going to be like, oh, no, I don't want to lose my Scout. He's going to hide. Yeah, there he is hiding. Because he knows how important the Scout HP is. Wait, is he going to go stable blacksmith? This is a, a strategy that I first saw from uh, John Slow. I don't know if he was the first person who ever did it. But this is, this is a strategy, guys, that you could actually use whether you're low elo or mid elo. It's really effective. It's a bit more investment to get the map control. But the idea is, is you want to make sure that your castle never gets denied. And you're taking advantage of getting the light cab upgrade for free. So you make like one or two scouts. They become light cab instantly. And they protect your villagers as you then drop the castle on the opponent's face. If Draken knew his opponent had a 5 HP scout though. He obviously would never. He would never even do any of that. But he would never expect anyone to ever do that. MBL seems to be able to take the boar only receiving one hit. Don't know how he does it. Yeah, you have to hit the boar twice. But the way it should work is if you hit the boar twice, it has to hit you twice. I've seen instances like Dark actually took the boar in the previous game uh, with two hits. But he only took one hit from the scout. And by the way, the, the build order wasn't actually that bad from Dark. i just still a little confused by it. At the end of the day, he's on the way to Castle Age at a really decent time. And he gets two free villagers every single time that he is uh he arrives to the next stage. But Draken's gonna have light cav, he's gonna have a castle in the middle. And the other thing about this, and I've been saying this particularly over the last year, is if you're gonna castle drop, you want to castle drop next to a gold. I wouldn't say a stone, because you probably already have villagers on stone. But oftentimes with these plays, your economy's weak and you kind of want to use the extra gold for monks or the market or something. Okay. Here we go. Dark wants to go for monasteries on the front. Oh, dude. Oh, this this is just so this is just gonna be so good for Draken. If Draken sees those monasteries, would you not just drop it right here? He doesn't actually have the stone yet. Yeah, what's he going to do about it? Those churches are going to burn down, man. A three TC boom for Dark, as he's going to somehow try and defend from this. His whole strategy of massing lots of monks is going to be extremely awkward now. And we even see Fletching for Draken. That's not something you see every day. The only thing that I consider awkward here is that he doesn't have a market. So eco balance will actually be a bit awkward because he's probably going to float a lot of gold and he doesn't actually have a lot of food. Like a lot of times what players do here, you see how we just pull this villager to wood? Like this type of, of adaptation is really important. You have to think about what your eco is going to look like. And oh my god, two monks just got shot by the castle. <laughs> Fletching pays off already. <laughs> Oh my god. Disaster for Dark, dude. Guys, I think it's safe to say, even though there's going to be other rounds played, whoever wins this series 
is in like okay whoever loses this series might end up being relegated especially if it's dark losing the series because draken took a win from leary draken took a win from yo this is his third round dark lost 3-0 to mbl but then he's still gonna have to play yo he's still gonna have to play leary and, and both players here are going to still have to play Bact, which is also like a really important series because Bact is the other person part of that relegation discussion. I I don't want to be that caster, but I struggle to see how Dark isn't just completely dead. And to be honest with you, even if he wouldn't have had that weak scout, I think the castle drop on the monasteries would have happened anyways. And it's just a really experienced arena player playing like a beast. He's got such an amazing position right now. Any amount of villagers, it doesn't feel like, even if you had a 15 villager lead, like what are you gonna make? Where can you go with it? What can you do? I just feel like you're just always under so much pressure. And I've been in this position before, before against a player like Draken, and they have enough Janissaries to be happy. So you're like, oh my god, they're all inning me. They're all inning me. They're going to produce. I have to make tons of monks. I have to produce tons of ills. And then they just go fast imp. And then you have some massive problems. Draken's going to get the relics too right now. And Draken, there's his market. We'll know there's maybe a monk in here. So he's waiting for that guy. Crazy, crazy plays here from Draken. He is behind in villagers by about 10 now. Monks, remember, have 9 range, so they could convert a Janissary. And the problem is Janissaries do a lot of damage, but the extra armor on the monks, is it helpful? Well, monks are weak inside that town center right now. You can see how difficult it is for Dark to try this. And he hops immediately out of the town center to go for conversions, and no... It's just too difficult. It's too much work. Monks keep dying anyways. And we're going to see another castle drop from Draken right on the TC. How do you stop this? Dang, man. There's no way you stop it. There's still a monk in here, too. He's probably panicking, so he's just producing monks out of all of his monasteries and forgetting that there's a monastery there. Now, honestly, I think Draken has more than enough Janissaries at this point. He doesn't actually need to spend food and gold on that. And wow, he's going for a second TC. I'm surprised. Maybe feels like the only way he loses is if he's far behind in villagers, so he wants to catch up there. Normally, you stay lower eco and you use the, that extra food to go imp and then just bombard cannon all this stuff down. What's the best sieve to counter 1v1 Arena Turks? Um... Bohemians uh, are, are like, th there's a couple of sieves. Bohemians, Burgundians are probably the top two that come to mind. <laughs> a lot of people play Poles as well. Um, I mean, some people really like Teutons, some people like Malay, some people like Aztecs. But yeah, I mean, remember the draft for Dark. Well, uh, hold on, guys. Let's not, let's not freak out too much. If Dark can get a castle up and go in, Dark can still win this game. Oh my god. Because look at his food count. Okay, oh, wheelbarrow. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, he just got wheelbarrow barely. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? Did you see? Excuse me? He must have six control groups. And every time there's an he just goes bam, 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 bam. Yeah, you see him clicking him. This is still a game. If Dark can drop a castle here and go up to Imp... And start trebbing all this down. Draken's going to have the relics. Draken's going to have a lot more vills than he would have otherwise. But Draken's going to start lose map control. I played a game uh, as Turks where I was like in the exact same scenario. I'm trying to learn these types of plays. And the temptation to add vills for me is always so real. Because of my experience with adding, you know, like the standard games. But Imp is on the way for Dark. As long as this castle goes up, he's going to get trebs. This, we have ourselves a treat here, guys. We have ourselves a treat. With a 13 to 1 KD, Draken could find himself behind here soon. This is wild. Now, the Light Cab, they're going to be very helpful here and kill a couple monks. And Light Cab actually end up getting converted there. 
and just Bengali things. I don't know who the crap is calling me right now, but I'm casting an arena game, and this is going to be wild. So, the other thing to mention about a fast imp with the Bengalis, which feels really good, is that you still get the villagers from the new TCs. So it's actually really important from Dark to make sure this TC is completed before he's an imp. Man, Draken's going four TCs. Oh, this is going to be so good. Draken, I think you have to bring the relics back, man. If he senses this, I think he should absolutely bring the relics back home. Um, it looks like he... Yeah, okay, so he just brought two to this monastery. And he's going to grab these as well. Before the light cav come out, ideally. Run, monk, run! And look at Dark try and rush down these TCs. I'm, I'm worried this one won't be built. This one should be. Should absolutely finish building this and then head over to this one. Try and get the timing right. Because that bonus is no joke here. Oh, man. One on the right will not be built. One on the left will be. I think. Oh, no. Dark, 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 dark. Finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it. Whew, worth it. Okay. Um. All right, so remember, he doesn't have the biggest army. But it's 70 vils a pop. And he's going to take down two castles. Now, Draken has taken a lot of this gold, which is kind of nice. And he's also escorting these monks back home now. Wow. Now, I would I would really need to speak to uh, one of the Clown Legion players, one of the one of the many people on their council, to know if they agreed or disagreed with Draken adding the villagers here. But it is just worth noting, because uh, it is possible the Fast Imp wouldn't have worked as well. Bengalis are still very good. Um, it is just worth noting that he does give up full map control to do that. But at the end of the day, you know, he might actually have a better eco or an even eco. And he has the relics safe at home. So him moving the relics is a pretty nice thing. I just hope the Draken's prepared to command his villagers to build lots of houses. Because <laughs> he's going to lose these castles and he's going to be losing pop space. Alright, so I'm Bengali's. I have monks and trebs. My opponent is Turks. We now see heresy for Draken. Are you kidding me? Just arena player things. But that's such a good move, right? Any unit that he make that, that gets converted now doesn't actually switch to the other per opponent's side. It just it just dies. But yeah, my next play, if I'm in Dra Dark's position, is Pikeman. Because you're expecting the free light cav uh, or Hussar, of course, if your opponent's an imp to come in for your monks. But he should still be able to take this castle freely. I also like how Draken is just taking as much gold as possible. Is adding the houses, by the way, with this villager. I guess, Honestly, I think he got heresy because he just had the gold floating. And he might have even looked at this and said, well, you paid for it, so... Not even spending my own money on this upgrade. I'm spending his money. All right. More farms here for Dark. 100 villagers. 96 villagers for Draken. This is a hugely important game. Again, especially for Dark, I think. Because he still has to play Leary. He still has to play Yo. Draken was at least to get able to get one win in both of his sets against those players. Uh, walls will probably be completed here. Dark thinking this is an opportunity to push out, and it absolutely is, I think, if you have some pikemen. He's going to build some outposts for vision. Cav Archer seems like it would be a sick play here. Yeah, but you need to get all the ranged upgrades, and you need to mask the ranges, and you need to get ballistics and all those things. So normally what players do is they open with the light cav, because the monks are the most immediate threat. And then they switch into the Cav Archers. But you're absolutely right. The Turk Cav Archers can be really good. Okay, so... Dark, he's going to look for a castle to hit. Uh, and he's going to go for... Uh, he's going for the mining camp. Oh, dude, really? <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> or is he going for the gate? Well, why not both? <laughs> He needs pikes, and he knows it. He's got so many resources, but he's adding farms. He's macroing more than anything. He doesn't actually have the production buildings. He's going to add stables? Your opponent's not going to add skirms, bro. Are we going to see battle elephants? 
Please make battle elephants. That would actually be really sick. He's still just attacking the gate. He somehow doesn't see that castle. Now he sees it. I'm I'm a, I'm astounded at the fact he's going for stables here. He's going elephants. Oh, dude, you're si It's kind of similar to the conversation I just had about the cav archers. I think you've gone for the wrong order here, but let's see. I think you need to open with something first that protects you from this. Otherwise, you could lose this position, and there go the hussars. This castle, there's no stone to repair for Draken, so he could lose it. He's got to buy some stone. The hussars will clear out the monks, and most definitely clear out the trebs, and then there's monks here from Draken to be able to convert the elephants. Draken will keep this castle up just barely. Just barely. And he will take out the trebuchets, and now he knows his opponent is going elephant. I mean... You're just giving Draken a reason to add more monks? Feels like a weird opening for me. I, I feel like maybe Dra Dark was just so excited to have pushed back that he felt like, I can do this now, and he just misjudged the situation. It's also possible that maybe he feels like, without the relics, he has to kill quickly here. And that's why he'd go for something as extreme as the elephants. Oh, the castle did go down. Dang. Okay, so miscalculated that one. But... Still, I think Draken's going to be loving life. He did actually squeeze in the Sapahi upgrade before that castle went down. And Conscription. Those units produce faster, and his Cav Archers have more HP. And there's Elite Battle Elephant. I know Bengalis have some bonuses in relation to the Battle Elephants, but... It's just such an expensive unit, and it's so slow... If I'm Draken, I would just drop a couple more monasteries, honestly. Just just make sure you have five to ten monks at all times. Is he even going to go camels now? Oh, he didn't get the conscription upgrade? Okay, I, I must have missed that specific, specific, little, uh, specific detail. It is kind of interesting, though, that Dark's trying to take gold, and there's so little remaining here. Crazy game. These battle elephants are going to have full armor. But the numbers, man, the numbers are going to be incredibly low. Maybe he'll go for one of the unique techs for the Megalis. But Draken is definitely in uh, mode now where he knows if he doesn't make mistakes, he wins this game. Especially after seeing the elephant choice, I think. Look how slow these elephants are, man. <laughs> Cav Archer's just freely running around, picking off villagers. Nice job, Draken. Doesn't lose a single unit. Getting ballistics. Didn't have ballistics. All right. Backing away. Over here, elephants start to dive in. And he's like, I would love an elephant. Elephants are my favorite. Let me just convert these. Now, these things resist conversions. I just remembered. I think it's a it's a team up, uh, a sib bonus. Elephant units resist conversion. But they still get converted. <laughs> it's not like the Tootin bonus. It, it feels like uh, the resistance isn't as strong. Or maybe it's just the fact that elephants are really slow. I think that's probably it. It just takes so long for the elephants to get in there. There are some chonkers here, man. There's a lot of them. You can't say they're not strong, guys. Dark is the population lead. What's happening? This has been a wild game. More monks are going to try and get conversions. This guy's still waiting for faith from God to convert. Or monk juice, as people call it. The Janissaries are getting pushed back. The Balbor cannons are getting pushed back. And who judged the elephants? Not me. Not me. I I expected this to work, as did everybody. Holy crap. These things are strong. Remember, Turks don't get halberdier. They don't get pikemen. I think any other civ would want to do that. But dang, man. And look at Dark. He's like, I'll take that gold. Thank you. Nom, 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 nom. And Draken Tuck calls the GG. Oh my goodness, Draken just taps out. Oh, that w I, I really didn't think that was going to work. I thought it was too crazy. Like, again, normally you want to open with something to protect your monks. You know, normally you go for a trash unit like Halb, Skirm, whatever the situation is. But Dark wins the game. Dang, dude. So, you know, the Bengali Elephants... Win the game as everyone expected. And what a great comeback from Dark, man. I just thought he was so dead. Like, I was so dejected, too. He, he used the scout against the boar. He lost his first two monks next to the monasteries. He had so many bad things happen. But honestly, I, I still would really like to think 
uh, or really would like to hear what you know some of the more experienced arena players think about Draken's decision to boom. I guess it was kind of like an even game at that point. He was a little bit behind in Vils, but he had the relics. Like, let's look at the resources. Eh, close enough, right? And then it just came down strictly to army comp. But, you know, camels weren't enough. Also, don't the Bengalis... Hold on, let me... I have to tab into the game. The Bengalis. Let me just look at this. He didn't research any unique techs. Okay, so he didn't get Ratha's and Elephant Units attack 20% faster. He didn't get Mahayana. But Elephant Units receive 25% less bonus damage and are more resistant to conversion. I think that first one's really nice. Like that, I think that first part played its role there. And then obviously maybe the resistance on the conversions played its role as well. Dang. So Draken didn't commit and it was a really entertaining game. I... I really like games like that where I think I know exactly what's going to happen and then I get proven wrong. Just look at the HP out here. We had 25 elephants, 6,500 HP. It's just crazy. And Dark gets an important win. So now Dark has played two rounds and Dark has two wins in Titans League Platinum. Draken has played three rounds and he has three wins. So, you know, it, it, that's why this game was so important. Dark winning this 2-1... Now, that opens up a lot more possibilities for him as he moves on to his third round in a couple days. I'm being told he did get pikes. Ah, uh, did he? Okay. Yeah, I wish Capture Age kind of had like a unique tech icon here for blind casters like myself. But I, I trust you guys. I was... I think either way... I mean, pikes is strong, but I think either way it was just a numbers thing, right? A numbers and momentum thing. He was going to bring in Trebs too. I think he also switched out to this gold super early. Like, he was, he was really going crazy with the gold mining with 41 on gold there. Sorry, I can't leave this game just yet. I still want to look at this position. If he never adds this TC. You see, normally that is five farms. And then normally, even instead of, like, buying stone for another castle, you just see the food get purchased. Because the second castle didn't accomplish much more than the first castle did. Granted, it did take out a TC eventually. Mm. I think if he never adds the second TC, he might be like 40 or 50 villagers behind, but have a better imp time. I'm trying to get a gauge on this. I mean, honestly, Dark's eco balance was really impressive. These resources are perfectly set up to lean towards Imp. Even timing Wheelbarrow with the TC that was going down. But yeah, like, now Draken catches up in Vils, but then he just loses all the map, and then I guess he didn't think it would turn into Elephants. Wow, what a game. What a crazy game. That's definitely one of those, I wish if we had uh, the ability to, like, have a save point in that game, and then I say, hey, players, play again, but do something different, or try something different to the losing player. I'd be really interested to see what Draken would do his second time around. I think he would still try and go for that fast imp. But it was a competitive arena game. Again, I think that might be the first time I've seen Turks and Bengalis. That was also a game that I feel was good enough, despite my early disappointment and sadness and frustration with Dark, <laughs> um, to send to the main channel on YouTube too. So if people enjoyed that game, please give me your thoughts on how you thought this game played out. Uh, the earlier games, if you're interested in seeing the full series, as always, will be on the T90 Extras channel. So you got more content there. Um, just so happens the best game from the series was the most important game and the final game in the series.